Happy Easter to you guys. Let's look at the news for today out of Iraq. Who is Mustafa al Kazemi? He's the newly appointed PM. The name of the presidency of the government of Iraq. Let's see what they have to say about this gentleman. All right. On Wednesday, the Iraqi Forces Alliance and the Kurdistan Regional Government Presidency announced their support for the nomination of the head of the intelligence agency, Mustafa al Kazemi, to head the new government. The world Iraq Mustafa Abdul Al Latif was born in Baghdad in the year of 1967, was born with a law degree. So, as you guys see right there, his name's actually not Mustafa Al Kazimi, it's actually Mustafa Abd Al Latif. Okay, somewhere along the way, he changed his name. It says on this next paragraph right here, he actually chose his name Mustafa al Kazimi, okay because he somewhere so basically he's changed his name during this work as a journalist in a number of local media outlets before he became editor-in-chief of the weekly magazine which had the privilege of Baram Sela the, the current Iraqi president of the Republic al Kazimi, was an active opponent of the former Iraqi dictator uh, Saddam Hussein so he opposed him who lived for years in exile, but did not join any of the Iraqi political parties. He was appointed by the former Prime Minister, Haider al-Abadi, as the head of the Iraqi National Intelligence Service in June of 26, after he gained a prominent position as a political mediator between the various Iraqi parties in successive crises and also obtained support from the Dawah Party. al Kazimi has more than 15 years of service in Iraq. Oops, hold on, I went too high. Cal Kazimi has more than 15 years of service in Iraq, most of which is in the area of conflict resolution. Al Kazimi has worked on reforming the Iraq apparatus by focusing on taking politics out of intelligence work. Kazimi, at the top of the list, of the most prominent candidates who have been accepted by the Iraqi street granted him his role as the executive director of the Iraqi Memory Foundation, an organization established by the purpose of documenting the crimes of the previous regime, the opportunity to specialize in archival strategies and gain experience in documenting testimonies and collecting films about victims of the system the former is based on the responsibility in preserving the Iraqi event as a historical document in addition to overseeing the work of multiple teams in several countries. al Kazimi managed from Baghdad and London the Humanitarian Dialogue Foundation, an independent organization that seeks to bridge the gaps between societies and cultures and establish dialogue as an alternative to violence in resolving crisis through cooperation that cuts across geographical and social boundaries. Mustafa al Kazimi worked as a columnist and managing editor of the Iraqi section of Al Monitor International and his articles focused on devoting the spirit of social peace in Iraq, establishing the future and country's historical position in exposing the failures and confusion that accompanied the experience of the political system and ways to address it. He also published during his career many books most notably the Iraq question reconciliation between the past and the future. Okay, alliance of forces. There is almost a political and parliamentary consensus on the passage of the al Qasimi government. Baghdad, the Iraqi forces alliance bloc confirmed the existence of a near political consensus to expedite the granting of confidence to the new taxpayer and its cabinet. The, there is near a near political parliamentary consensus to support the passage of Mustafa al Kazimi's government and the speedy granting of confidence to it before the House of Representatives, said the deputy for the coalition. He added that there is a political parliamentary optimism about Kazimi's success in the forming of the new government within a limited period in order to proceed to follow up on the important files, indicating that our demands are part of the political forces 
for the reconstruction of the liberated areas and the return of the displaced in response to the demands of the demonstrators to create a partnership in the government and decision of combat and financial administrative corruption. There's actually some key points in that, guys. Give me a moment to relook. I wanted to share these with you because um, a lot of these things mentioned, guys, are all post rate chain steps. It says he added that there was political parliamentary optimism and success in forming the new government within a limited period in order to proceed with the fault of the important files. Um, okay, they talked about the reconstruction in liberated areas. Right here, reconstruction in liberated areas, guys. You know that that's all post rate change. Um, it's kind of hard for the, uh, the return of displaced people, guys. That's that's people living out like almost in tents in the middle of the desert because their homes or their wherever they lived was destroyed from the war. But guys, the war ended in December of 17. We're in 2020 now, so you know that's that's almost uh, that's a little over two years ago, okay. It's it's where that's between two to three years ago, and they still haven't even. They're telling you right here they still have not taken care of the displaced people, and they they technically they would have to rebuild, rebuild their infrastructure, rebuild whether they lived in apartments, houses, whatever. They have to rebuild their living structures in order for the. So that's kind of post rate change too, because it's you know it's rebuilding. So and the demands of the demonstrators. So as you guys see, even the demands of the demonstra demonstrators is still all this all of this guys. They're telling you is post rate change. Okay, they can't do any of this. That's why it's still outstanding. So anyway, I just wanted to show that to you. They're still talking about it. Deputy Parliament will pass Al Kazimi's government within 10 days. So they're basically saying that they should have the new government or cabinet passed and approved probably by mid next week. We'll see. On Sunday, the deputy of the Al Fatah Alliance, Fidel Al Falawi, confirmed by the Parliament, will hold a session of granting. Confidence to form the government of the Prime Minister within 10 days. Al Falawi sent a statement to information that Al Kazimi began the political consultations three days ago to choose his cabinet, noting that he will present his ministerial cabinet within a short period of time, and, and the Council of Representatives will set a session of granting confidence within 10 days. He added the Shiite political blocs fully support Al Kazimi and will continue to support it inside the House of Representatives, noting that the Sunni Kurdish forces officially announced the support of the Al Kazimi government, and that Al Kazimi will pass Parliament and will not face the fate of Al Zarfi and Alawi. Today, Sunday, the independent deputy confirmed the Parliament Speaker Muhammad Al Habusi will lose two ministries in the government of Prime Minister designate Mustafa Al Kazimi, while indicating that the loss of the two ministries will push. Al Habusi to hinder the passage of Al Kazimi's government in Parliament. Al Kazimi will present his cabinet in the month before Ramadan. No excess for parliamentarians due to Corona. The head of, of the Rafa and Bloc, the House of Representatives, suggested on Sunday that the cabinet introduce the new government headed by the Prime Minister designate Kazimi to, to Parliament before the holy month of Ramadan that is less than two weeks. Kenna said that in the press statement pursued by the obelisk that the that he spoke with Al Kazimi soon after he assigned the Prime Minister's job by the President of the Republic last Thursday and he wished him success and success in his mission and most of the politicians will be supportive and helpful to him during the next stage. He added that Al Kazimi will launch his government program within the next few days. Kenna said Stress that Al Kazimi will present his government government form before the blessed month of Ramadan, warning the members of the House of Representatives will hold their session in the Great Hall and sit in far away from each other to vote for the benefit of the people and the nation. And it is not possible to excuse or excuse before the Corona or others. And it is not responsible that the Christian component seeks to guarantee his hard-earned right. Rather, our rights must be guaranteed in every government formation. This is a natural right indicating that this is a mistake to fight the ministerial seat every time. There you guys go. That's the end of the news. On to the next video.